Hey, my beautiful people. So today we're going to do a four in one. But before we get into this four in one, hit that subscribe button and that bell button for more videos like this. So first we're going to start with nails and we're going to start with LA Color Base Coats. Y'all know I use this in almost every video. And I'm just going to base my nails. <laughs> polish my nails with this base coat and we're going to use the Mila El, Ellie Mila color. I love this color y'all. First of all, all my Ellie Mila nail polishes dry so super quickly and they look good and they last for a very long time in my opinion. Also, I want to show y'all some different kind of colors. So I also decided on my other hand that I would use these two simple colors. This one is from the Kylie collection called Cashmere. And the other one is one that I've had for a long time. And that's why there's like stuff all over it called You Just Wait. I love this. There's a lot of stuff over there. But I figured some of y'all might not have time to paint y'all nails or don't want to. I found both of these at the Dollar Tree store and I figured that would be a really quick, easy fix to get your nails done without spending a lot of money and a lot of time. So on this hand, on my ring finger, I'm going to use that You Just Wait. And on the rest of my fingers, I'm going to use that Cashier Color from the Kylie Collection. Now, I found both of these at the Dollar Tree store. I'm trying to tell y'all, it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money to get nice nails for work. Um, the Ella Mila one, I had to order offline, but y'all, I really do love this collection. I can't wait till it is in a Target by my house, because right now it ain't in my Target. But this stuff is really great, and I really bought it to use on my little cousin's nails, because it's seven, I want to say it's seven free if I remember right, it's either 9 free or 7 free, but it doesn't have all those harsh chemicals that are bad for your body in them. And that was my favorite, and that's why I use these colors on my little cousin, except for this red one. This red one, I really bought for me because red is my favorite color. But I bought her a pink one, a purple one, and a yellow one, and those are our favorites. So I did not do a cleanup for these nails because I knew I was just about to take them off because I have something important to do tomorrow so I was like uh, I gotta paint my nails something some other color so I didn't clean up I just wanted to show you guys some options so now we're gonna go into makeup so I'm going to use my wet n wow matte primer for my face Next, we're going to do our e.l.f. eye primer. I'm pretty sure I'm getting to the end of this eye primer. I'm going to be so sad. But what's some other eye shadow primers that you guys use that you guys love? Please try to link them down below or at least tell me the name of them so that I can look them up. Because even though I really do like this eyeshadow primer, I am more than happy to go test some other kind. Next, we're going to use my Judy, um, it's Judy's Time palette, and we're going to use this like tannish, kind of brownish color, just to build in my crease. So, I then realized that I did not do my brows, so then I started on my brows. And of course, y'all know me and my brows, we just don't get along, we just can't just be friends together. So one brow came out looking, well, they both came out looking nice, let me not say that, they both came out looking nice. But, 
one, as you fin- you're about to see, I drew my line just like way over my brow. I don't know what I was doing, but hey, it came out looking nice. That's all that really matters. And then I'm going to clean up my brows with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I want to say Cocoa Bean. Y'all know this is one of my favorite. I, I don't think I say that enough in every tutorial that this is my favorite. I love this um, concealer. It's like must have. So if I know Christmas is coming up. I know we're in September. Y'all like, oh my God, are we really talking about Christmas right now? But I feel like this is really good to buy your younger cousins that are starting to wear makeup around like 15, 16, go ahead and start to kind of build up their collection and go buy them these concealers because I feel like they they need these concealers in their in their kits, okay? So if you have somebody who loves doing makeup, go buy them this concealer. My cousins don't like wearing makeup, so I ain't got nobody to buy makeup for. So then I'm just going to go back in and blend, 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 blend that color some more. I'm really getting into these reddish brown colors. They are starting to become my favorite. So next I'm going to get this like soft pinkish color that looks really good on this dark skin. And I'm going to place that on my lid. This is like one of my favorites. It reminds me of this makeup look that I did for Valentine's Day one year. And because I didn't have contacts, I was all the way out of the frame. And it was like one of the best makeup looks I did. So I slightly kind of recreated it with this. Not fully, but that pink color was the main color and it looked amazing. So next we're gonna just use another color out of that Still In The Moment palette to give us our little eyebrow, I mean eye bone, eyebrow, whatever it is, highlight color. And then y'all know I gotta do my favorite thing ever which is to put that black liner in my waterline. It is my absolute favorite thing. Like. I don't even have to wear makeup. If I can put some liner in my waterline and some mascara on, I am good to go. I feel like just those two things make the focus go on your eyes. And I love my eyes. So, it's just like a win-win for me to put that black liner in my waterline and some mascara on. Then we're just going to blend out some more. I even put a little darker brownish color in my outer corner, which I forgot to say. But now we're going to go in with my foundation from Black Radiance. Um, and this might actually be called Cocoa Bean. I can't remember. But I love the Black, the Black Radiance collection because I can always go in and like test different colors and they have a good range of colors in my opinion at least for my skin tone it's really hard to find colors in my skin tone so I've played around with a couple um and as my skin has gotten dark I had to move some colors some shades but next we're going to go into this BH Hollywood or is it BH San Fran? It's BH San Francisco palette. And I'm just getting some blush out of that palette. But then I realized that I still had a couple dark spots. So then I went over it with my concealer and I went back in with my blush and just reapplied. I didn't put any highlighter on this day 
just because we're going to work. And my blush, as y'all can see, kind of has a little good shimmer and shine to it. And I use that as my highlight. Then I'm going to go in with my setting powder because I get really oily. So when I go to work, I do setting powder and setting spray because I get really oily and I need that powder to soak up all that oil and help me not be oily during the day. And then I'm going in with my setting spray, and I just let that, you know, got a fan there, let that dry. And then normally, if I was going to wear a lipstick color, I would go with a dark one or this brown color just to be like, hey, look, guys, I got lipstick on, but it's not too much. But if you're not a lipstick person, stick on your chapstick, girl, and keep it pushing. I'm going to put some mascara on. This is my Hourglass Caution Mascara. And I also want to show you guys another lip color. And this is like a softer color that kind of goes with the eyeshadow a little bit. Don't ask me what this, this um, lipstick color is because I don't remember. I don't know which one I, which one I picked up. Okay, but it's one of my summer colors, and I just stuck some of my Mary Kay um, lip gloss over the top of it to kind of help it match. So next, let's get into this hair. I'm just going to pop some curls in. Like I said in my back to school routine, I don't really do anything extra with my hair for school or really for work. I just pop some curls in my hair and I keep it pushing every now and then if we have like a, a big event or something then I will try to roller set or do a rod set on my hair the night before um, just kind of go the extra mile but because I know I'm going to be rushing I tend not to pop no curls in my hair like this often. But if you have a little more time or you're a little bit more disciplined than me and you can get up for extra 30 minutes so you can pop these curls in your hair, girl, power to you, okay? Because I, I know I'm not that person, so I always try to do my hair the night before and have my clothes out the night before because I know makeup in the morning is probably going to be the same for me unless we have some kind of event. We have some kind of big event then I will either take my makeup with me because most time our events are like later in the day. I will take my makeup with me and just do my makeup later on. But if it's just my day-to-day -day work makeup, it's sort of like what I have on now. Pop some browns on my lids, pop some pinks on my lids, pop some mascara on and keep it pushing. But yeah, for the most part, my hair gets done the night before, which will probably be me putting some flexi rods or some rollers or some rods in my hair just to maintain whatever rod or curl I had on the day before or whatever. So if I do curl my hair like this, I tend to put some flexi rods in it just to keep it holding up to the next day. And I just do that until I rewash the wig. So here's outfit number one. This dress is from Ashley Stewart and this blazer is from Dee Dee's Discounts. A lot of my clothing in this is from Dee Dee's Discount. And I would pair this up if I really walked in heels all day with these heels from Love Contour. My next outfit, the top, the blue top is from Walmart. The jacket is from Dee Dee's and the pants are from Dee Dee's also. Then I'll just match them with these blue shoes that I love. They're my favorite ones from Charlie Rouge. Outfit number three is this nice denim top from Denim 24-7. 
and these cute pants they got like this belt on it that you can tighten a bow from Dee's discount like if y'all hadn't learned like I am loving Dee's discount right now okay but this top is my everything this to me is a very cute semi casual semi jersey outfit and I love it. And I'll just pair that with those black shoes that you saw a second ago. So I really hope you guys loved this foreign one. Leave me some comments down below. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe. Go check out my vlog channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Much love.